Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFP TV here in lovely Switzerland. I've been spending the week at B&T, their headquarters in Toon, Switzerland. One of the most exciting things that I got to see is B&T's new pistol. Now, they've always kind of done CZ clones in the past. You guys remember the Sphinx pistols? They released something similar to that. And it wasn't really met with much fanfare in the past. However, B&T is doing a new almost ground up pistol, the USW- P. That's their new striker fired handgun. Now there's only so much that you can do in today's market to distinguish your new pistol from pretty much everybody else's, but Carl Brueger personally explains what makes the new USWP something special, something different, something Swiss. Guys, this is not a review of the USWP because the one we shot was a prototype, hasn't come out yet. I will get my hands on a review copy and tell you how I really feel about it, but initially it looks really, really, really good. Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV at B&T HQ in Switzerland with the man himself, Carl Brugger. Of course, he's very modest. He's going to deny being the man, but as we all know, you are factually the man. I can't believe that you're on our crappy YouTube channel to talk about the brand new, and this is big news, like this is huge news, USWP. Now, I give you a little bit of a hard time before this video started rolling. I said, oh, you know, you guys are just gonna make like Sphinx clones, CZ75 clones forever. This is actually a, a true B&T service pistol, ground up service pistol that you guys are releasing, striker fired, I want you to tell me and everyone watching TFB TV everything about it. Okay. Everything. Yeah, but basically we, we started over two years ago, the design was finished, but production cost was so damned high as we machined every part out of solid, we just burned it and said, oh, fuck off, leave it. So then the US market demanded some pistols, so we had this MK2, which we launched, which we did out of remaining parts from the Sphinx bankruptcy case. But parallel, we said, yeah, we should maybe launch the striker fire. So to be clear to everybody, we do not want to compete with Glock or HK or Smith & Wesson. That's not our target. We try to make a high-end, good quality striker fired pistol with some features. So we were very close to the German guidelines of the service pistol. It means you cannot take the gun apart without the magazine being removed. You do not have to press the trigger in order to disassemble it. And we try to make a decent trigger. Of course, it's optic ready. We have a very low line of sight. We have this front serration, which we will use on the version with the stock. So we will come up with that in a USW version as well. But we use the same lower grip part than we used on the USW, the current one. Mm -hmm. And the same CZ type Tonfolio type magazine made by my car. So if I have a CZ75 magazine collection, it it's work. probably going to work. work yeah. Why? Why did you guys decide to do this all of a sudden? Had to have been a government a contract. Yeah. No, it was not a government contract. We, we wanted to make a pistol. Nobody does anything new without a government contract. <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, no, well, typically, typically, you well, know, new designs like this, uh, because this is expensive. For, for you guys yeah, to but tool we, we up thought and start it's, doing it's it. a very good thing for the engineers to do that, and they did a great job on that. So the team is outstanding what we have here. So, and I think we will sell some of them. We don't know where we are price range, but it will be surely higher than the average striker fire pistol. Oh, I can. I mean, it's B and T. On on. The it's got the cross on the side. It's going to be more yeah. expensive. <laughs> and we are working on the compact version as well. And we will see. Time will tell if we will successful or not. At least we have some prototypes for ourselves which we like to play with. Is this a, a complete aluminum lower? Yes. Because yep. I mean, there's there's like, I've got like a rubbery plasticky feel no, down the, here in the The lower grip. part is from the original Sphinx design, which mm. we use in the USW. The lower part of the receiver is basically full in alloy made out of solid. Mm -hmm. That's still the same. And then the, the grip, it feels plastic to me, but it's actually, this is it's like, rubber. yeah, it's rubber. rubber over Moment. aluminum. Yeah, no. The lower part is completely plastic, and the rubber slip is just put over. Oh, you can I change see. grip panels 
in three different sizes. Okay, so I can get uh, different grip panels. There's what three about, grip panels included. What about grip sizes like There's like just compact. this one. Uh -huh. The compact will come when we do the compact version. But hypothetically, I could just take this gun and swap out the entire bottom Lower. half. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Just three screws. Now talk to me about the trigger, because that's something that I think, of course, everybody's expecting you guys to have a fantastic trigger. And by the way, everyone watching this video, we of course made sure, triple check, made sure the gun's unloaded. Talk to me about the, uh, the trigger here. What did you do, and how do you feel about it? Okay, we think the trigger is okay, but that's... <laughs> if he says okay, he means it's, it's pretty good, and it okay. is. The trigger is okay, we did all the parts are grinded to each other, so they're nicely machined, we tried to have cap tolerances correct, and but the shooters will decide at the end if they like it or not. For us, it's rather okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it's fantastic, and I know you're just being modest, uh, but we've got a regular squared off trigger guard here, Pick a tinny rail yep. underneath for accessories. Yep. What, what's going on with this uh, cutout here? Above now, this the cutout rail? Is, comes back from the USW system where we need a holster where this will be the guideline of the holster. I see we have an ambidextrous slide release, slide lock on both sides. This must be our takedown lever, right? Yeah, you open the slide, put it in the rear position, then put the slide on top, take it apart. That's how it looks like. Very uh, similar. To any other pistol, there is not rocket science, just the trigger is a bit different. Put it together, clear. And what kind of testing did we do with this? I mean, is this something you guys, th I, I'm sure you just didn't cook it up and... Um, yeah, we did all the tests we did normally with all our weapons, so we first started with the 10,000 rounds torture test, mm -hmm. and after we fulfilled that, we parallel do the drop test, the cold and warm, and so far we fulfilled, and. But we are not targeting any military or law enforcement contract with that. We think it's a civilian high-end pistol who's for somebody who likes striker firing. Talk to me about the barrel. Uh, the barrel, the rough material, comes from Merkel in Germany. And we machine them here and we heat them here. We coat them here so its accuracy is like a pistol of that you can expect. See, look at that. All in there, then I can throw a flyer <laughs> over here. It's like, uh, but that's pretty, that's an entire magazine. Um, so that's pretty amazing, actually. Threw a couple of flyers, but I'm pretty proud of that. And then here we go. That's the group before, a little bit tighter group, but uh, still had a couple of flyers out here. I mean, this thing shoots, the trigger's fantastic. That's really kind of the edge that it has on other striker-fired handguns. Um, really nice trigger, obviously, optics capability, huge plus. I mean, this thing shoots. Are you talking about Merkel, like Merkel, like Merkel shotguns, Merkel? Yeah, that's the producer of the rough of the barrel blanks. Oh my God! Yeah, they so uh, yeah, all our barrels come from Merkel. I, I had no idea. Yeah. I, I've been a fan for so long. I, and for those of you out here who, who don't know Merkel, I mean that's like one of the highest end yeah. shotgun and rifle manufacturers in Germany. Mm -hmm. So no, that's actually a really cool fact that we just picked up. What about the sight pattern? Every gun will come with the suppressor height sights. As the version we will do for the U.S., they will all have the threaded barrel from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And we believe it should be only optic ready, be used, and we will look with some holster manufacturer to get like a cool holster to it, and we'll see. Shield RMSC pattern, I see, and it goes directly into the slide. You're right. not using a plate nope. mounting nope. system. And I think you've done the right thing there, because yeah. there are a lot of people that try to do the plates, and it's just not as good, in my opinion. No, and you know, for us, it's relatively easy to machine that for the shield, for the RMR, for the Holosun, or whatever you mm -hmm. need directly to the slide. We're not based on huge volume here, mm -hmm. so we can easily do 50 of that, 20 of that. That doesn't matter for us. Sure, so if the market's there, you'll release it in different slides, different yeah, uh, mounting Yeah, people can panel. decide. Yeah, one will be sure for the aim point acro, which the dovetail directly machined mm -hmm. into the slide. 
Carl, how do you feel about optics on pistols nowadays? I mean, it's, it's kind of the new standard, right? I think it's standard. It will get standard in the long term. Mm -hmm. well, especially with age, like myself, you get used to that you don't see the front sight anymore. So you're damn happy to have a red dot sight on your pistol. Old guy, 49 years old. Carl is, so, you know, he's, he's get, getting up there, right? I yeah, get it. Right, me, me, right, too. Yeah, me, too. Come soon. me too. Me too. Why would I buy this? I know it's going to be expensive. Why would I buy this over, say, uh, some other comparable duty size pistol? Because I, you, I know you're not in marketing, no, Carl, no, but I I'm mean, not in marketing. I'm, but sell the damn thing. Maybe to the people. because you already <laughs> have everything else. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's a, a good answer, but I mean, uh, your modesty again is showing. I mean, I'm, I'm certain that b and as you said, you've torture tested the shit out of this thing. Yeah. This is going to be a, a durable pistol. It's got an excellent striker fired system, an extraordinary trigger. It's going to be tough as nails, optics ready. You're going to have, of course, threaded barrels for yep. it. Uh, suppressor height sights right out of the box. I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. Slide treatment, I forgot to ask. What, what did you guys do to the slide? That's all done in Switzerland, so mm -hmm. it's uh, hardened and then QPQ coated on top, and we may look for some other more fancy and more useful treatments as all the Americans request for. Well, I mean, I, I think that this is perfectly adequate, and in fact, to say adequate is almost an insult. I mean, this is a fantastic pistol that I'm excited about. I know everyone out there watching is going to be excited now when will this drop? I know you're, you're, there's a lot of speculation, you don't know how much it's gonna cost, but when am I going to actually be able to buy this? Okay, let's say middle of 2023. Okay. We should have the first lot ready. Price, $1,444. Yeah, 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 something. Carl, you're gonna get yourself in so much trouble. Right now, we, we got the guys from marketing sweating, knowing that this man's in front of the camera. But uh, there's nobody better to have on the program, Carl. Truly, oh. it's an honor. No, it really uh, is an honor. You know, I've, I've always loved your designs and looked up to you. So it's great to have you on the program to personally walk us through this pistol. Guys, we are going to bring you more from this very special trip to b and Switzerland. You're talking about a striker-fired handgun that's got a fantastic trigger, of course, Swiss precision machining, a lot of awesome features that Carl just talked about. So when I get my hands on one, I promise you, we'll be bringing you a review, a full review, to TFB TV. In the meantime, I'm gonna hose these beers, enjoy this lovely weather. Guys, take care. <laughs>